Hello everyone and welcome back. So, I had a little bit of an issue. My camera didn't start recording when I pressed the start recording button. And I got a little bit far ahead. How much you would say? About half an hour. Luckily, I had a save file. Let's go. I'm here. Okay, so we're in the game. We got a character build and everything. I fixed some of the uh, graphics issues. And I even played a game a little bit, so I know everything looks great. Or as great as it can look. I don't think we can go up here. We might have missed a couple of tutorials Certainly. as well. Anyone really need supplies? <clears throat> I've got sundries for sale. I think I have a hundred coins, so let's see what we can do. Here then, you see a man wearing simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered with uneven stubble, as if he hasn't got, quite gotten used to having uh, used to shaving. I say, on the is road. there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale. If you'd like to take a look. Yeah, dude, are you doing? Are you down on your luck? Uh, who are you, I'm man? I'm a trader, originally from the Adir Empire. Same here. I'm trying to establish new business out here. Life on the road has brought some unexpected challenges, to be sure. And I'm sure you've noticed how prickly the locals can be. But we're here to make the most of things, right? Yeah, yeah. We might as well try. My thoughts exactly. Something else you need? Looks like we're settled for the night. Hmm. Why did you move all the way out here, son? Because it seemed friendlier than Ray and Saris? <laughs> My brothers took over the family mercantile business a few years ago, and there wasn't enough for me to do back home. I moved out to try and expand. Hmm. That's nice. Family business. Family business. At least you weren't kicked out, I would say. Okay. So yeah, they, they seem, his brothers seem to work extra hard and stuff. Sounds reasonable enough. Okay, so let's see what you've got. got a cross. Oh no, no, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Is it a trading system? We have nothing. Or copper pieces. I have a hundred copper pieces, I believe. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of stuff. I think I'm good. Everybody. Okay, so let's start off by exploring a bit. I believe there might be some stuff over here. I am zoomed out and there is a map. Uh, stores allow you to trade and sell your items for copper pieces or items in the store's in inventory. Merchants buy you blah blah blah. So yeah, we know how merchants work and buying and selling stuff works. Can we come over here? Ooh, yes we can. And that's pretty much the edge. We got some horses, apparently. Hmm. What's this? The fallen tree doesn't budge. Sap oozes from the jagged wound in his Not truck. looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. I'll try to help you if my strength's built back up. I, sorry, I got sick, you know? Exploration is key in Pillars of Eternity. As you make your way through the Eastern Reach, open the area map to see what parts of the map you've already been to and what's left to explore. Yeah, I was gonna, I said in the last um, episode, well, this episode before it got corrupted, and or not even corrupted, I just didn't record it right, apparently, that it seems like we're already in the ruins. These are the walls of the ruins. We're, all, we're in the ruins, so we're probably going to piss off whatever axe wielders there are out there. We'll see if I'm correct or not. Oh, dear! Dear! And we're not fast enough. We don't have any <laughs> arrow weapons or anything. We don't have any ranged weapons. Oh. Glowing trees. Travelers, maybe. Or looters, bandits. Bad sign, anyway.
Okay, so yeah, let's loot that and then examine. The corpse is cold to the touch and a ripe smell wafts in from featured waves. A dark, crusted blood stain besmirches its simple linen clothing. Alright, let's cross this bridge and see what's across it. If we can, I'm not sure if it'll stop us or something. It might. Okay, it didn't. Can't really cross that, apparently. This is recent. Not good. Hmm. Purpose around the campfire are indistinct and may have been here for days or longer. Interesting. I didn't find this last time I played. I went straight back to camp. I'm happy I went down here. Anything else to be found? A lamp. Oh yeah, we can put it on fast mode. There we go. Hey, dude. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Alrighty, hurry up. I just don't want to die is all, but I, I mean, I can probably get it myself. The well, demo's being a little bit too nice, honestly. I'm not a child. Let's check by those out. What you need? There we go. Pillars of Eternity Combat uses a possible real-time system. Because you will often manage more than one character at a time, it's a good idea to pause the game, issue orders, and resume real time to see the orders play out. The options menu also contains many choices for automatic pausing when certain conditions are met. Alright, you knock him down, and I will holy fire his ass with my, uh, what's it called again? Flames of Devotion. Let's go. Mm -hmm. When new characters have been engaged in melee, when characters are engaged in melee, they immediately stop moving. If they move again, they will provoke a disengagement action from the enemies attacking them, or engaging them. Your characters will also automatically engage enemies when they initiate attacks against them with melee weapons. Alright. Let's move this way. I'm Friend or foe have four primary defenses against attacks. Deflection, fortitude, reflex, and will. These defenses are based on the uh, character's attributes, level, items, and other effects. Accuracy is compared to the appropriate defenses when an attack is made. If the accuracy... Oh my god, there's a lot to read. Yes. Yes. Let's go. I don't know if flanking helps in this game, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And flames of devotion will strike you down. Yep. Take all. Let's check that inventory real quick. What did we just get off of them? Wolf hide, lock pick, and leather armor. Not better than my armor. And you've got scale armor, DR7 medium armor. Yeah. Yeah, so eh, we're probably selling that. Okay, so I'm both here. of you can travel this way. Wait, I was pretty sure last time I checked. Yeah, there this it is. is. It. Yeah, there it is. As you receive quests, your journal will update with relevant information. Hmm. Dissident. So, because I'm a dissident, I got it on good authority you're some kind of troublemaker. Or at least you were in your old life. Yeah, that's why they put me in jail. Yeah, how is it you having to come here? I was released. We're supposed to report back every few days, but that's just another kind of jail. You do what you can to survive. What else can happen? Can one be expected to do? She breathes in around her surroundings. Been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Radoc's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of the lot? Nah. Uh, it's a hard offer to pass up. You won't find many of the offers like that in these parts, believe me. Got some big plan in store? I'm gonna settle here, start a new life. 
Some days of things, huh? Interesting. Well, there's probably no hurry to make up your mind. They've got an inn at Gilded Vale that'll put you up as long as you need. Or so my sister tells me. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Odem will give me earful. Let's be on our way. Why are you here? My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried, but that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in East Matil, but I'll do anything for her. She's, well, she's a much better woman than me, so I'm here, and we'll see. Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live that way. My family wanders too. We started in Dryerwood, but my parents ended up in the living lands. I've got a brother in Rao Tai and another in Yadir. My sister in Gilded Vale. She's the only real homebody. Hmm. All right. Let's get back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfell's getting you water anytime soon. He does what he feels like when he feels like it. We should check up on him first. Slap him around a little. Stream's just down the way. Come on. Let's get you your water. Okay, Coolio. We know where Sparfell is. Let me just collect these plants. You might have noticed that the volume might have stopped there. I'm probably editing that so that you don't have to hear me cough. Yeah, he's not here. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. I'm here. Come on. Yeah, I'll get him. You catch up the riverbank and dip your water skin into the cool water while Kaliska waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you notice her look up sharply towards the tree line. Out of the trees emerges Sparfell, one of the guides, barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there's a strangeness to his gait. His stride wobbly as he moves towards you with labored breath. Sparfell, are you all right? Sparfell's toe catches on a rock, and he collapses forward in a heap. Feathered shaft of an arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. That's not good. Ambush. Let's go mm -hmm. this way. Sometimes a weapon or spell simply isn't mostly depending on enemies' damage reduction. Really? I don't understand how, but um, the DR will wipe out all the low spell percentage, so you have to find a good weapon to attack with. All right. Well, I don't know. Let's uh, knock him down, though. Oh, yeah! I hate this so much. Yeah, he's dead. Is he down yet? Okay, so you move this way, or this way at least, and you charge this guy and knock him down. Oh, I hate that. You have to click right on the circle. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Indeed we do. Let's loot these guys. All right, let's go, girl. Come on. We gotta find these guys. Oh well, there we go. I'm here. Yeah, there we go. He's knocked down. Oh, 
I'd be glad to. Okay. So, I love the game so far. I honestly do, but it looks like it needs a little bit of work. Okay, so charge him, and they need to fix the cameras, because you need to point right at their feet for anything to really work. So, holy fire. Yeah. There you go. You can get back up from that. Take all. Take all. And yeah, let's go. Yes. The Glenfaven leader. All around you lie the massacred remains of other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug eyed, filthy. Classica puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away some vicious vapor. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from, bo from bodies as if from half-spilt logs. One of them, towering and severe, with thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man you recognize as Heoden, the last of your ca caravan left standing. Yeah, so we, we drove here, I was sick, I went out to get stuff while they chilled, and they're dead now, because we was ambushed. That's bad. Lay down your arms, trespasser! Do not forfeit this man's life, for a fight you will lose. What will we say to this? Hmm. We'll try to use the, the lore that we have gathered over the years. The ruin has not been sullied by our hands, men of ear Glanfath. Your words carry no weight when I have seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. You now have one rank and disposition reputation. Okay, that's cool. So I have, I have a decent disposition. So I say again, lay down your arms. Don't trust them. They mean to kill us all. Oh, he's really nice too. I really don't feel like the resolve is one of my paladin things, but I feel like that's not something my character would do. Um, I'm going to try to use lore again. Judging by the string of animal teeth around your neck, I am guessing you are worshippers of Galloway. If Galloway told you to stop protecting the ruins, would you? The man frowns and motions as if to swing his axe. Weird and winces, but the blow never comes. Instead, the man cocks his head intrigued. Of course, but he would not. It is by the command of all the gods that we accept his charge. How do you know? Because it's consistent with their beliefs, or, is because, or because it's what you were told? The man glares. It has always been known to my people. I see. And what of Galloway's edict, that weakness and age must be purged by youth and strength? You think Galloway would, would want some moldy, crumbling stones to survive long after the builders have turned to dust? The man's nostrils flare as he fumes. He would not. He told us otherwise. I'm sure he did, just not you personally. But why should that stop you from killing innocents? Distracted, the man's grip falters on his axe handle and he nearly fumbles it, according, uh, affording Hyrd in the moment he needs to dodge, dodge out of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charges you instead. Oh my god, I saved Hyrd, the nice little guy, oh my god. He didn't. Tell me what you got. Okay, so blinding strike, a dirty attack that makes the opponent unable to see. What what do you got, man? Do you got some equipment? You got two daggers and then another dagger over here. And some money. Oh my god, I saved him. Last time I didn't save him. He has a potion of minor regeneration as well as some lockpicks. Alright, alright. Okay, I want you to blind that guy. I will try to use my holy powers on that guy. And you can knock that guy down. Now it's a fair fight. I love this. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, come on. Knock him down. 
Damn, what is going on? I don't like how he's getting hurt like that. I don't know if they die permanently or not. So knock down the hunter. You can't really do much, so just attack the main dude. Wait, did we already take the leader down? Ooh, okay. These guys are really done for now. And I'll use my, uh, I need to remember what they're called. I'll use my Flames of Devotion on this guy. Yeah, they're done for now. Yeah, we're done. Gaflan leader, your your enemy lies sipping supine. Hmm. Your enemy lies supine up, uh, supping on the ground, unable to rise. His companions now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fitful gasps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sides, a whisper of wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good. Good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents, tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin. Where it pierces you, it feels as though it's rending your, you apart from within. Seated against the wagon wheel midst the howling maelstorm, slashed across chest and bow, Odema's body stirs, and with great effort he raises, raises his sagging head. His eyes barely open. He looks directly to you. Get inside! Run! Damn. We gotta run, run, run. Oh, damn! This is so extreme. Why is this happening? Oh, man. Oh, man. Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hid in trails behind, slow, slowed and injured, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation, he nears the face of the rocks. One by one of the fallen attackers who had been feigning death lunges for Hyoden and tumbles into the rocky ground. No, Hyoden, no! Hyoden, you just wanted a better life. Restrained, Hyoden lashes out against his fatigued assailant but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you despite the wind from your position. If you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance of hitting your mark. I don't have the dexterity for that, so I can throw the weapon at the attacker, allow Hyoden to break through free on his own. I'm going to throw the weapon. I am a paladin. I will help. Your aim is true, and hit, and the hit jars Hyoden loose. Lurching to his feet, Hyoden climbs up at the base of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. Hmm. But diving... Oh my god! To the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it, securing his other hand you pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. The hill just long enough for Hyoden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. Oh my god, there's deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections and unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Any weapon, shield, or suit of armor can be enchanted by clicking the enchant button from its description page. Was that... The wind? It was the wind. A Beowick. Had to be. A Beowick, yeah. In case you guys missed it, I don't know how this editing is going to look. I, I, there's parts of the game that just didn't get recorded. Um, Eoden, the guy who was knocked down on the ground, he's the driver of the caravan. And he had told us that there may be a, a Beowick. He felt it in the wind. And wow, Beowicks are... Oh my god. Then we're lucky to be alive. Indeed. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Into the ruins we weren't supposed to go into. All right, so we've completed that quest and I feel like this episode has gone on long enough. Um, and I'm, it's getting pretty late. So I'm gonna cut it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am super excited. This is really cool. Combat system is a little wanky, but uh, I will see you next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.